<laughs> so how did you get into the adult industry? Speaking of dangerous practices. <laughs> so prior to the adult being in porn, <laughs> I had dabbled in being a cam girl online. I had like done many forms of sex work. I did like bikini topless, like bars. I consider that like a form of sex work. It's kind of like stripping. Mm -hmm. I was topless. Um, I was a dom for a few years and porn was just kind of like the next step. I like to say in my like sexual evolution, it had always been something that I'd wanted to do. And I'd always kind of like admired like, you know, porn stars online, just like, wow, they're doing something like, it's very ballsy to do. Like you are butt naked, whole spread for the whole world to see. Like you have to have no inhibitions. And I don't know, I just like, I was lucky to find some people to kind of like give me their insight on it. Um, one of my friends being Alex Lynx. And I, she kind of like, I like to say she kind of mentored me a bit, like gave me like lots of good advice and just like made me realize that it's the art of not giving a fuck. And I feel like, I don't know, with the combination of all the things I had done prior to porn, like, you know, dabbling and camming, doming, and also, you know, doing things like my fire dancing and like raving, like all those like really, I feel like help open me up to the person I am today, like kind of help me be more comfortable in my body. And I don't know, being comfortable being like naked because like you're pretty naked at like raves and festivals, at least I like to be. And that just like taught me to be very comfortable with my body. And I feel like being a porn star, you have to have some body comfort with yourself. Do you find that you had that before you came into porn or did porn help you? Did it make you more comfortable with your body? Uh, I feel like I kind of had it already coming in the porn because I remember doing my first like actual like scene, like not a POV, like my first actual scene, just having the crew there and having sex in front of them. I, it just felt really natural. Like I wasn't like, this is weird. No, I just felt like this is this is work. This is how it is. Tell us about your first scene. Who is it with? What company was it for? So some of my first three scenes, th first like three or five scenes were with Team Ski. And then I did one with Team Fidelity, no, Porn Fidelity. Well, it's been a long time. <laughs> um, and my first two scenes were POVs. And so those were like, I don't know, those are kind of weird because I just like, you know, getting introduced into the porn world, learning like, you know, how to work your camera angles, we're opening up on camera. And then my first non POV scene, I remember was a team skeet scene with Tyler Nixon. And he was such a sweetheart. I was just gonna say, that's a wonderful guy. He's to, like, such a sweet, he's, he's with. honestly like on my list of like favorite male talent, just cause he's very like caring and kind and like really cares about like, you know, your comfort. And I appreciate that. And I don't know. It was just like a fun day. <laughs> yeah, Tyler's great. I adore him. And he has that California surfer boy look. Mm -hmm. What can you not like? <laughs> I know he does. And so after those scenes, were you kind of like, okay, this is this is for me. I definitely want to do this. I want to like jump right in. And then what were, did you come in like with some ultimate goals that you wanted to hit? Like what were your specific goals that you wanted? So getting into the industry, I definitely wanted to be successful and I wanted to, you know, build up my content a lot too, because I'm all about like the multiple streams of income type of deal. Um, but I generally just wanted to make a name for myself in this industry. And I honestly had no idea how it would pan out because I was, I was honestly really nervous getting into porn because of my look, you know, it's so different. And I say that with <laughs> annunciations. It it's, it's unique. Be just because like, I'm like, I'm different, but I don't really see myself as like that different. You know what I mean? Like, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like there's people with like tattoos and I just have colored hair, you feel. And I really didn't know where it would come out. Like I didn't know if I was going to be successful because, you know, the, the whole like trend is like the girl next door look, you know, natural like ask bodies and whatever. And I like got in my head a lot about it just because I, I was like, whoa, am I like too different to be doing this? Like, I don't know. It just felt a little weird. But then 
when I started working with companies that like, I don't know, had more creative visions and I just felt like had, you know, kind of steering away from like the step porn, <laughs> the faux cest vibe. I felt like I was kind of like living more true to myself and like myself as a creator. And then I was like, okay, this is definitely like, we're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I never, I never like felt like, you know, I was going to leave porn, but I definitely did have a couple days, like in the beginning, in the first few months of me being like in the industry where I was like, am I cut out for this? Just like having like a hard day on set, like where you like come home crying because like you got sunburned and like you're dehydrated and your body's just not cooperating with you. And I don't know, you don't get water on set. And <laughs> <laughs> dying. Like you're just dying, you and, I, yeah, and you're. I was sunburnt this like one particular day. I was sunburnt by the time the sex scene happened was happening, like really bad red sunburn. And I remember going home, and I was like crying in the Uber, like, "Am I gonna like be able to handle this? Like, this is such a hard day." And I don't know. I sometimes when I'm having like hard days, I'll like think of like you know performers who are like really big I'm like you know I bet they have their hard days and like this is motivation for me to get through my hard day mm -hmm. too because don't be a bitch you can do this <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's kind of the perfect time for somebody like you who's unique and has a unique set of skills that aren't just porn related the fact that you can do all these other things like the dancing and the hula hoop and the fire play because you know now that we have these personal content platforms where you can showcase like your uniqueness and all of your talents. Um, I think fans really appreciate that and they appreciate like the authentic you and, and that connection. So it may have been harder for you, I don't know, 15 years ago or something like that when only fans didn't exist, when, you know, all of those things didn't exist and you were only booked by production companies who thought you fit a very specific, like, Oh, I can't imagine they were that. <laughs> trying to hit. Yeah, no, it was definitely, I mean, performers have more freedom and, and more like control over their career now than ever. Yeah, I feel like porn is definitely evolving with like, you know, since I've been in the industry and I've had like some people, I've even had my agent tell me to like, you know, you kind of like paved like the way in a sense for like the, some of those changes, like seeing people with more alternative looks, like be like working with mainstream companies. And I have worked with a lot of mainstream companies that have not shot with people with like colored hair, like before where they're like, we've never shot anybody with your look or <laughs> sometimes though I feel feel like people like when makeup artists like they get me in their chair they like don't know what to do with me because I have like colored hair they're like oh my god <laughs> yeah they're like how do I do your eyebrows <laughs> I don't have blue, like, yeah. eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm very thankful, though, like, for this journey and, like, where I am today. Like, I don't know. I some, I just have to get out of here, like, because I'm in here a lot sometimes. And I have to, like, you know, give myself credit, like, for the things I have accomplished. 